If you're anything like me, you're going to be running to get your nails done. You're going to be running to get your eyebrows done and just maybe your hair touched up whenever the world opens up again. And so I want to talk to my service-based solopreneurs out there. Hey mama, this is Vanessa Ann Miller, my sidekick. Oliver and I are excited to share some insight of being a mom, wife, entrepreneur, and definitely one gold digger. I'm going to teach you my time hacks and business tips on how to be the most efficient, modern mompreneur, and we're going to have fun along the way. So go ahead and get your pen, paper, and don't forget your coffee again. And so I want to talk to my service-based solopreneurs out there. I know that you guys have probably been trying to um, generate revenue right now while you're temporarily shut down by sh selling gift cards. And that is great. But before you sell another gift card, I want you to consider this. What is going to happen as a service-based solopreneur who you're the only one that can service your clients when you have a crowd of people wanting to schedule an appointment with you to redeem their gift card. I mean, you should see my toenails right now. I know I'm going to need to go see someone to get my, my toenails fixed. My husband even said the same thing. But luckily, whenever I go to get my, my, my nails done, there's usually more than one person that can service me. But not so much whenever you are the person that is doing someone's hair, or maybe you're the one that's doing someone's eyebrows or their skin, and you don't have any employees. You're the only one. So think about what you're going to do to be able to serve these people. And secondly, when you're servicing these people and there's a huge cr uh, crowd of people coming to you trying to schedule things, make sure that your technology is working. It's up to date that it can handle a lot of people in case people are going to your website or going to your app to schedule appointments to so make sure you can handle that capacity. But <clears throat> Also that make sure that your schedule can handle it because the last thing that you want is for someone to get disgruntled because you have your schedule booked out for the next month and they can't come see you. There's a potential that you can lose that client. So make sure that you're considering things like that and figure out how can you make sure that you are keeping great quality customer service for these people. And so, um, Another thing is that you sold these gift cards and now people are going to redeem them. And so you got that money back whenever you sold them. And most likely, since you're a solo panor, you probably needed that money to survive. So then what's going to happen? You have prolonged the process of earning new profits. So think outside of the box of like, how can you make sure that you're still earning profits when you're were prepaid in all these services that you're um, getting that they're coming to redeem the gift cards for. And then um, another thing is I want to make sure that this is my little point to you. If a little trick, maybe you can designate some kind of um, time, you know, maybe people that are redeeming their gift cards, they can come in on these certain dates and these certain times. And you may not even have to like specifically say that because they may not like that. But in your mind, you can have those times carved out for these people that are coming to redeem gift cards. So that way you save other, um, <laughs> hi boss lady and boss baby, you save um, time for new people to come in and schedule a service with you. And you can maybe even say, hey, if you come in during these times to redeem your gift cards, I will give you a trial size skincare um I don't know, something for skincare or some travel size for your hair or travel size for something and you know, give them a free little gift that's not going to break you and something that you had um, just in stock anyway, because you weren't maybe you weren't selling products or maybe you have a way of um, being able to get those things for uh, wholesale. But anyway, I want you guys to consider that I have a great strategy um, that is available to you for free. If you go to, and I'll put the link here, if you go to um, sign up for the gift card checklist, I go through all these different things that you can start doing right now to prepare for whenever you have a grand reopening, things to consider, how to delegate, how to uh, communicate with your clients. It's a great checklist that you can use not only now, but going forward. And I promise you, you're gonna get some golden nuggets there that you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I thought about this sooner. <laughs> so anyways, I'll put the link for you to be able to go and download. And uh, yes, I have a co-host here that is, uh, he wanted to say something, but do you have anything to say? 
No, he just wants to say good luck, everyone. And we hope that you stay healthy and stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.